I got an email from my Uncle Jack last week. He's really into genealogy, and he was telling me about how I am an eighth generation American and a seventh generation Texan, which is where I was born and raised and currently reside. Apparently we had an ancestor who came over in 1832 and settled near the Big Thicket area. And that just got me to thinking about faith and what a tremendous amount of faith that had to have taken to do something like that. You know, to, to leave his relatives and friends, uh, he and his family, to travel to an unknown area. I don't know what his religious faith was, I can only guess on that, um, but it seems to me that that would take a tremendous amount of faith in yourself, in the people who are doing it with you, and faith also in people that you had never met, you know, to know that you would have neighbors in this new land. When I think about faith and my ancestors, I don't think about these familial ancestors as much as I think about what I consider to be my theological ancestors. And so many of them took risks too for their faith. You know, I think about people like Hosea Ballou, and uh, he was an early universalist and one of the risks that he took is a risk that perhaps you have taken. And that was to tell his father, your beliefs are different than my beliefs. I believe something different. I think they had a few fights over that one. It's a big thing to have the faith to step out and express what you believe. I know some people who have done it, and the big faith that they have there is that the, with, that the relationship can withstand it, you know, that they can tell their parents or siblings or friends about their beliefs and they will still love each other. As Francis David famously said, we need not think alike to love alike. But you know, I know others who take that risk and their faith is in something broader because many times the relationship does not survive. And yet they have the faith, and maybe this is you, that if that relationship does not survive, that they will meet other people and have relationships with them. They have the faith that if they need to step away from a certain relationship, that there will be others out there who will encourage and support them in being true to themselves and their beliefs. And maybe that's you. That's a faith that I have because that's been what I have seen over and over again. I hope that you feel it here in this community I hope that you feel the encouragement to be your most authentic self and know that you are in a covenantal relationship with others who are going to support and affirm that. Our ancestors give us many different lessons. What are some of the ones that you take with you in your journey of faith?